This is Alex, the architect for back 4 app and in today's episode of our Parse Crash course, I will show you how to retrieve objects based on queries that runs on other objects of another class. So, as you remember, I have my person class here from last episodes, and in this class I have some objects with a living city which shows where each person lives. And I created a new class here called team, which has a name for that team, about, that is the name of the city of that team, so I have San Jose and San Paulo, and the number of members for that team, so San Jose has 100,000 and San Paulo has 200,000. So a good way to start, if I go back to my code, is to uh, retrieve one of those teams only. So in order to do so, I'm gonna type let team equals parse.object.extend and my class name there, which is team. And I'm going to write a query for finding those teams. So let team query equals new parse query. And I'm going to pass my team object there. And let's find the teams which has over uh, 150,000 members, so only Sao Paulo would be retrieved. So, team query dot greater than, and, and I'm going to pass my members, which is the property I'm looking for, and then 150,000 members. And I'll have to store that in a result array, and this is a asynchronous call, so always have to use await and then team query dot find. This should find all the teams which has over 150,000 members. And just for printing it, let's go through that array with a for loop. So let i equal zero, i smaller than result dot length. I plus plus. Oops. And then I'm going to filter the object. So let this object e equals result index i. And then we can print the team name. So console.log. Uh, this object dot get and the team name. This seems right, so if I go back to my console and type node index.js, I got only Sao Paulo because we're looking for anything over 150,000 and Sao Paulo has over 150,000. But I want to find the persons which uh, have uh, living city equals Sao Paulo that we found on this query. In order to do so, I have to go to my code and we will make some changes. So I'm querying for a person, so I have to write a query for that and a parse object for that. So let person equals parse.object.extend and then person which is my class name so let person query equals new parse dot query and I'm going to pass my person there and uh, I know the, the property in person is living city and it matches the attribute name in team so we're going to write like this uh, person query dot matches key in query and then I'm going to pass the property in the person query so living city and I'm going to pass the parameter from the team sorry which is name Oops. 
name, and then I'm going to pass the query which is filtering the results from the teams I want. And of course, now I'm querying on the person query, so I'm going to put it person query here, and of course the objects will be different, so we will set the name of the person, I think it's the same name, okay, and we're going to print the living city. So, plus this dash, and then we can put this object dot get living city. What this will do is it will search for all the teams which has over 150,000 members. We know that is only Sao Paulo. And then it will query for a person where the living city matches the name of that query we just ran. ran. And it will bring all those results and print. So it should print every single uh, person which lives in Sao Paulo. I go back to my terminal and type node index.js. So there you go. We have all the employees who live in Sao Paulo, which is the city name of the team we queried for first. This also works for does not matches, does not match query key in query. So in this case I'm negating this uh, query so it will bring me every single person which does not live in this city name Sao Paulo. So if I go back to my terminal and type node index.js so I have everybody who lives in San Jose and Los Angeles but not in Sao Paulo. So this is a little bit more complicated query but it will help you a lot to build your results faster and we and uh, typing less code. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you on the next episode. So see you soon. Bye bye.